Hello, my name's Ed Frawley. A number of years ago, I wrote an article that you can read on my website titled, Why Dog Parks Are a Bad Idea. Dog parks really uh, only serve one purpose for us, and that's what you're going to watch Michael Ellis do right now, which is to use them as a distraction during our training from outside the dog park. Couché. Assy. Couché. Dabu. Assy. Dabu. Couché. Assy. Now what you're watching here is Michael Ellis and his dog Pi, and Michael's doing positions, and he's practicing healing right next to the dog park. Now you obviously wouldn't start, if you are a new trainer and a new dog, you wouldn't start right next to the dog park like this. You may have to start a block away from the dog park where your dog can see the dogs that are running around in the park and then use that as a distraction for your training. Gradually move closer and closer and closer until you can get the kind of focus that my, Michael has with Pi. That's the best, safest use for a dog park. The best use of dog parks I know. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Yay, come on, let's go. Out. Okay. I think this video speaks for itself as you watch Michael work. Ah, sí.